Hartwood. Now we have the privilege of being joined by the Fives owner and general manager, Ryan Hartwood, who joins us now. Ryan, thanks for joining, first of all. You and Gary Vaynerchuk bought into MLP to raise awareness for the sport, amongst other reasons. You guys obviously love it yourself. You have a background as an athlete. Uh, how do you guys plan on doing that with your contribution here with MLP? Well, first of all, I want to say I agree with you <laughs> that, that we are the favorites. Um, I think Simone was a steal, dropped too low, and I'm very, very pumped about that. And Rob, obviously, legend, veteran of the game. I'm really, really excited to have him on the team. And Lena and Eric, you know, it was something that was super fun. Once you made your first pick they, in the draft, they allowed you to start speaking mm -hmm. to them to find out where the chemistry was and recruit oh, cool. the rest of your team. And it was really fun learning about the nuances of the game and the chemistry, like you said, Rob and Eric have a chemistry there and really enjoy playing with each other. So really, really, really psyched. But back to your question, you know, Gary and I are in the content game. That's yeah. what we do. We own media companies. Obviously, Gary's built his personal brand through mass scale volume of content on the platforms. We think brand is built on social these days, mm -hmm. and we plan on creating a lot of content for the sport of pickleball with our 1.37 p.m. media company, but also I think taking a page out of the NBA, making the players put them on a pedestal, build the personalities, make sure they're at the forefront of the sport. I think that's going to be really, really important, and I'm excited to do that with our players. Yeah, I love that. How do you how do you start with that? Like, where do you begin with that project of building somebody's brand from the ground up or a sport that's not really new to all, but still up and coming in the in the states? Well, I'm going to start by getting to know the four players on our team <laughs> and starting to tell. Well, lucky them. They're <laughs> getting free they branding. The <laughs> <I know. laughs> and, and really build narratives around them and, and uh, obviously get highlights. And really yeah. when you have four players at the front in the kitchen and they're going boom, 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 boom. Those are some of the most exciting points in sports period. So yeah. we need to build that excitement. So I'm pumped about it. Now you're an athlete yourself. You have a background in tennis and basketball. So how has pickleball as a sport distinguished itself in terms of the community from what you've seen in your experience with the sport? It is so inclusive and warm. I have been involved in other sports before and it is interestingly cutthroat, even externally in the community. And there's a different type of warmth to this, even amongst the players when you meet them. And I think that speaks volumes, and I think a lot of people are going to be attracted to that warmth. You know, even in the MLP with, with Ann and Amir and yeah. Steve, they've been amazing. They're just really good people, and I think that's going to be great for the sport. And how do you capitalize on that aspect of the sport when you're building these brands for these players or helping kind of shape the, the future of pickleball? I think that people are always attracted to high integrity, good people, and especially in today's day and age. So true. You know, That's why I've made it so far, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> so I think when that gets out there, that this is run, this whole sport is run by really, really good people that yeah. just love and have such a passion. The, the, the true contagiousness of the passion for this sport, it's different. Yeah. It's not jaded. It's, it hasn't been around long enough. There's a different type of passion to the people that love this sport yeah. that I think is going to be contagious long term. And I love, especially in a format like this, across genders, across age, it really doesn't matter. It kind of equals the, the playing field there. And it's also fascinating, the people that gravitate to the sport, the success level of the people that are buying into it and making it bigger, it, it's just so it increases the warmth of the community. Um, lastly, dive a little bit deeper into what some of those conversations were like. If you're willing to divulge yeah. with the, the tips and, and tricks that the players gave you once you got Simone as your steal, what was her feedback on the players that you have and why you have such a good group together and, and how that impacts your successes moving forward? Well, Simone was my first pick, so we, we were the ones that helped pick the rest of the right. team after that. But you know, they were basically explaining the nuances of singles versus doubles. Because yeah. remember, we get their singles rankings um, and that's typically kind of where your eyes are attracted to on the sheet first, but that's very different than doubles. And yeah. then there's mixed doubles. So the nuances between singles, doubles, mixed doubles, the chemistry, have they played with these people before? How often have they played together? I think that was super interesting. Awesome. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for the insight, for joining us. And we can't wait to see all the exciting content that you have for us. Maybe the guy that runs the dink will take a page or two out of your book. Although... Can you hire me, please? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, you're hiring. We know a couple people. I'll take a job, too, if you want. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ryan, thanks so much for the time. We're so excited to have you. Oh, wait. Yes, yes, that's right. We have a... Top secret. We have a present... 
on the set. I forgot. Show us what we got. What Here we is go. This? Our friends over at, at Franklin were kind enough to make us the fives paddle here, Whoa. which, if I do say so myself, is an amazing design. That's incredible. And I'm going to be gifting these to our players very shortly. So very, very that. excited about this. Spoiler alert. That's amazing. Yeah. Shout out to Already Franklin. Already winning. <laughs> Already winning. Let us know if you have any extras. Brian, thanks so much for the time. Thank you for having me. Thank you me. for bringing the gift. That is awesome. Maybe we'll keep it on set for yeah, a little. Yeah, you can leave that here. Yeah, we'll just, that here. Well, you're in good <laughs> Take hands. Take care of it. <laughs>